a lot of times, but don't worry. And in of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine. A handmaiden stealing the crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mera. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. Beat him up. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. I've done nothing! Take the cells. Shit up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. This can't be true. Lord Gregor was an honorable man. But a man all the same. Josra would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. Mary Ping that he was protecting Springle. us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. You try, and fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend Cotter and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Yep. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Go cut your hand! Ah. Gregor Ven Fiond and Bjorn Sager Ven. Sweal old Mopre Befasta! It's creepy. Oh, 
Whoa. Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. Rest in peace, Finn. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. You fought well yourself. <laughs> or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them, I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My this, sister has trained them well. This burnt one of their own. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. They don't mourn their dead. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. Are you alright? You don't look well. It's nothing. I'm fine. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Bison Air. Did you not hear me? Fulgorn, Suna! Wow! 
What? Wait! That was really creepy and weird. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. She's protecting the grove. She thinks her warriors are the answer. But not if she can't control them. And now it's gone too far. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Let's go, Shadow. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Jailer, please. Shut it! Please come here! <clears throat> uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Well, tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father, whatever gods you believe in. I wasn't. I... I wasn't giving you any luck. Don't deny it. I saw the disgust in your eyes. As if you never did anything you were ashamed of! I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. You think I give two shits about your judgment? What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. My lord, please. Please take me out of here! 
Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Right, so there's a choice to marry him. Oh, no, no. Come and on, a choice you. to no. not marry him. I chose not marry him, so I'm going to marry him this time. Wait, wait! Shut your fucking mouth! <laughs> <laughs> They'll be here for you soon. Okay, I know I shouldn't be laughing, but... You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. And I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely ruin every forest under his control. Only foresters know how to really work ironwood. That's useful. And then I realized there's something much more valuable than your knowledge of trees, Mira. Your name, my wife. Ah. Uh. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course. And I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, think of your bloodline. Your precious Forester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. What are you gonna talking about? I'm going to marry him. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. He marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. So we'd rule together. As Lord and Lady of Ironrath. <laughs> That's an amusing thought, but not what I had in mind. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. Alright, so I gotta marry him. Alright. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira. What do you say? Good. Oh my god, why? She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. 
There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrett. He's in so much pain. I should have picked a different speaking choice. Like, these people, like these guards, or whatever, they're really creepy. But they don't have skin like Garrett. Or... So they must be some sort of different human. I, I did everything within my power to help your friend, but I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly, and has no place in here. That's between me and Cotter. I don't know what that wildling told you, but that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> Why I'm gonna cut your heart? <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? I thought they took her away. Or maybe I'm wrong. Remember your promise, Garrett. Oh, you have to protect Sylvie. Oh, I can't bear it anymore. Oh my God. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here, fighting by my side. But now you can use his death. To give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I speak only for myself. Garrett Tuttle. Lord Gregor trusted you with the secrets of the North Grove. He must have seen something in you. Your friend waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. I'll do what must be done. 
You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. Already, Gareth. Any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood. All right, will be I used. have to use him for blood magic. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use a dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. Uh, guys, get ready. Good. Now grab his heart quickly while his blood still pulses through it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Bring it here. Squeeze That's the blood disgusting. into the fire. Disgusting. While it's still warm. Don the Treoric Ike's frog. Swogen this for Bula. That's disgusting. Thank you, Carrie. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body. In the name of the king, I hereby sentence you to death. Whoa. Cowboy, no! Get over there! This boy Come. has been charged with murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to his crimes? My betrothed can speak to them. Me. Is this true, my lady? My lady! Then in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please, this isn't right! Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. They just murdered a child. Oh my god. The alternative choice is Mira getting her head chopped off. If you didn't know already. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Wait, Hulk Right, we're sneaking through. Ugh, there's too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. Hmm. I think there's two endings, man. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. Like, that must tent. be Lord's tent. Of course he'd take the biggest one for himself. Yeah. God. More guards. Place is crawling with them. 
tower. tower gives a great view over their camp. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? All right. Cut the horses free. Send them galloping through the camp. Horses? That's what you want? That's what we need. A distraction. Fine. But if any white hills get in our way, might have to cut them loose too. Yeah. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Oh, see you guys in a bit. I just got a friend request. Think so. You can trust them to fight. Beyond that. Come on, let's get this done. All right. Uh Right, the guards go past. Then we'll pass. Right, let's go. Forrester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. He can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? Now I want to make him bleed. Griff. Follow Griff. Asher deserved better. Lud or Griff? Lud. This might be our only chance. We will kill Lud, and the White Hill army will fall apart. Quick then, before he gets away. Don't get too close. When he's distracted, we strike. Griff is weak, so we can kill him. Let's take them. Ah, got ya. <laughs> Roderick the Ruined. You've just won this war from me coming here like this. Oh, more White Hills. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Which is fine by me. Call Friend off the attack. Swear fealty to House Forester, and I'll let you live. Not today, I'm afraid. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. It's over, Lord. Kill him. I underestimated you, Cripple. But it won't do you any good. My soldiers are already tearing down your gates. For Asher! 
Goodbye, Lud. This is for Ethan, Asher. Goodbye. Dead. Where's the Rossi? You live. Where's the basilisk? We were separated during the fight, right before I took Lud's head. He's dead. Good. Yep. I thought Beska would be here. I think she's. Beska will have to take care of herself. To Iron Rath! Aww. You did that on purpose. Oh, I, I hope Beska's okay. We'll probably won't see her anyway. Probably won't. I actually like Beska. They're everywhere. Whoa. <laughs> Situation is grim, my lord. The White Hills have broken through, and the rest of their forces are closing in. Oh, great. We need reinforcements at the gate. Have you seen Sorry. Mother? Why are where you? she? Have you seen Mother? No one knows where, where she is. Now, go. <laughs> oh. My lord. Your command. Defend the gate. If the seas the gate, you heard your lord. Retake the gate. No! No! Now this is the war I shall promote. Ah! <sighs> 
No, 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 don't kill Roderick! No! Let go of my son! Did you save me? Fucking forest, I cut! No! I'm sorry, brother. Duncan sacrificed himself. I mean, he's dead. Probably. What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre.
your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how's forced or fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. That is what he said. Garrett's right. I bet they have a relationship. <laughs> Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne, she claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. And then, that whole business with Tyrion. She stayed loyal to me when it mattered. But now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before her day was out, her brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff Whitehill beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But then... He... Killed the man who betrayed him. I was rather starting to like him, and then I thought, let's play again. That's when the fun really started. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, 
He earned my help and my respect. I wish I could have done more for him. Perhaps if I had, things would have turned out differently. Loyalty, friendship, respect. Without them, we have nothing. I think Mira understood that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did, it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira has proven that. But at what cost? To Roderick. I could have told him this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. His brother dead. His mother dead. <laughs> his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They fought hard, I'll give them that. But they were too bold, defiant when they should have been smart. Ruthless instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. I'm sure we're gonna get a cutscene. <clears throat> this will be leading to a season two, by the way. I know it will. Duncan? Roderick? We haven't much time. Duncan's alive! to a season two. Um, yeah, well, season two will be done. So. Oh, I have a different one, but Mira is not here. No, I think he just loses anyway. Jesus, useless, I think. Roderick's fate remains unknown.
Yeah, I can't go on episode six choices. I don't understand. Well, that was Game of Thrones. I just did. I just did both of them. Duncan now. Yeah, dude. So, once again, let me tell you who's alive and dead in my main playthrough. Dead. 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 Alive. 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 Dead. Dead. Alive. Dead. Uh, alive or unknown. Well, actually, Ash is unknown. Oh, come on. I doubt he's going to die in the next season. Come on. That should be stupid. Your choice wouldn't even matter. I'm not looking at my choices. Right, so I think in my different play, Blue. Dead. Dead. Unknown. Dead. Dead. She's alive. But we don't play as a anymore dead alive 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 dead dead alive yeah he's alive in my different playthrough which is good so guys if you enjoyed both notice i say both of my game of thrones episode six and last streams Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe for more content. Game of Thrones is awesome. And I will buy season six. No, not season six. I wish they do make a season six. But anyway, I will buy season two when possible. But like they say, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or die. Bit of both, actually. Anyway, let me just tell you guys, Garrett and Roderick are alive. That's, that's all I gotta tell you. And then Asher and Garrett are alive. So guys, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.